We want to have good shoulders because it makes us look way cooler, but many people could be training them better and they're leaving a lot of shoulder gains on the table. Not to worry though, I'll show you how you should work them out and give the best exercises to hit all parts of the shoulder. That way we can all get those Death Star delts. And to do this, we're gonna have to hit all three parts of the shoulder, the front, the lateral, and the rear delt. The front delt is used in most pressing movements and often is overdeveloped because of it. However, it helps us get that 3D popped out look and it helps us with our strength movements as well. The side or the lateral delt is definitely the most important in terms of physique as it helps us get wider, broader shoulders. And with the assistance of the lats, it gives us that appearance of a V taper and the illusion of a smaller waist. And the last part of the shoulder is the rear delts and they make the world go round. So it's crucial that we don't skip this one because if we do, we'd look stupid. Now that we got that covered, let's talk about the front delts. To hit this part of the muscle, we really focus on going heavy and really pushing ourselves with progressive overload. And the exercise we're gonna be improving on is some form of shoulder press. The main ones I do are military press and a form of pike push-ups because it helps me in the things I'm working towards. But if you're just training for aesthetics, I think seated dumbbell press is the best option. Make sure you're pushing the weight correctly, moving it back and above your head with your elbows in a slightly tucked position. It will help you push more weight and it will better your shoulder growth. But if you don't have that available, pike push-ups with books or parallettes to get a bigger range of motion is another good option. But intensity is really the name of the game for this one. You really just want to push yourself because this is a movement we want to get stronger in. We want to be increasing the weight over time and just getting stronger at this movement. And as a result of getting stronger, our shoulders are going to grow. Personally, I like to train for strength for this one. So I do five sets of five and then I build up to a weight where I'm failing before I even get to five. But if you're just training for aesthetics and you just want your shoulders to pop, I would just do a couple sets and try to fail in between five and 10 reps. And you'll definitely see some growth if you're training with that intensity. And honestly, for front delts, that's all I think you need. But if you want to add another one, front, front raises, especially with a cable, are a great option. But you can use dumbbells too. And this is just a great accessory movement we can add in after we've done our shoulder press. Don't use it as a replacement though, because the compound movement of shoulder press is going to be a lot more beneficial than this thing. Basically just do shoulder press and pick a variation and then get stronger at it and you'll see shoulder gains. But there's two that you should stay away from and that's the Arnold press and curl to press. I used to do the Arnold press cause you know like Arnold does it. So it's like, it's gotta work. But then I heard some things and I kind of thought about it and I was like, yeah, it's probably not the best. And moving our arms back and forth like that has little benefit and stops us from putting more weight and more load on the muscle. So it doesn't really make sense to do it. And a lot of people add a curl to the movement but this does the same thing. It would be better to just separate them and focus on them individually and superset them if you really want to. So just do the shoulder press, I guess is what I'm saying. The side delts. So how do we build these wide, brothy looking shoulders? One word, lateral raises. This one's pretty technical and there's a lot of variations you can do. So I just wanna break down some cool variations and how you can get the most out of it. It's best to do a lateral raise with a cable as it has constant tension on the muscle and it's best to perform it while leaning as the lateral delt is working most towards the end range of that motion. And for style points, you can even put it between your legs to get a better position. And when we do the movement with a lean like this, it's called the Egyptian lateral raise. This one's gotta be good for building up your shoulders because the Egyptians built the pyramids with the assistance of aliens, of course. But this one's good because it'll put you in a slightly better position and you'll definitely feel it in your shoulder. And using dumbbells is a great option too. You just wanna perform them in the right way. So when you perform the exercise, you wanna grab the top of the dumbbell. This way you put more load on the side delts. You also wanna keep your hands flat. A lot of people do the pinkies up, but this is gonna target more of your back. It also puts your shoulder in a weird position. And when you bring the weight up, you don't wanna bring your arms straight out to your side. Instead, bring your arms in slightly and move the weight in that path. And focus on bringing the weight up through your elbows with a slight bend in the arm and a small bend in the waist. And you want to eliminate momentum as much as possible. One way to do that is to do a seated variation. For this one, the same rules apply. Lean slightly forward and move your arms in that same path. It's just a good one to add in because it stops you from swinging the weight up. And if that's not available, just use a backpack, fill it with weights. We really don't need that much weight for this movement. Even big brothy dudes use light weight for this exercise. So having lighter weights for this one isn't bad at all. And if you want to grow wider shoulders, I wouldn't focus on just building up the weight as once you get to a certain point, other muscles are going to take over and your form's definitely going to break down as adding 10 pounds to your lat raise is probably the same as adding like hundred pounds to your bench. Focus more on the mind muscle connection and doing quality reps with the time you have because progressive overload isn't just upping the weight. You can also do it through improving your technique, improving your mind muscle connection and by putting more effort into it, whether that's going closer to failure or doing a drop set or burnout sets, and having good form is good, but towards the end you might get fatigued, so don't be afraid to have a few sloppy reps. Doing some forced reps like that is just gonna help us get everything out of the muscle. 
And by focusing on these things, especially for this movement, it will help you dramatically. So that's my tip for side lateral raises. I also like to add in an upright row every now and then just to switch it up because I get a little bit bored just doing lat raises. This movement kind of gets a bad rap and some say it's a little bit dangerous, but danger is my mother's maiden name. So this is how you can do it correctly. Use a shoulder width grip, lean forward slightly, and don't bring your elbows past your shoulders. And using a rope on a cable machine or using dumbbells is another way we can help our arms move in a more natural path. The rear delts. And we hit it with pull-ups and other row movements, but we still need to hit it by itself. And the best way to do this again is with cables. I just think cables is great for shoulder day. And some of the best exercises we can do on that cable machine are double arm reverse cable flies. We can also do it with one arm. And face pulls is another great option. If you don't have a cable machine because that one dude's over there, or you're just at home with dumbbells, you can just do some form of rear delt rows with the dumbbells. Chest supported or bent over rows are a great way to do that. And just try to bring your arms back with around a 45 degree angle. And if you're a body weight person, you can use rings, TRX, or just tie two bed sheets together and throw them up in between your door frame. And you can do rear delt rows with that or even face pulls. And switch it up, you always wanna surprise attack the muscles. So do different variations, you know, change it up. Never let your shoulders know the next move. But those are all the exercises you need. This is how I would kinda put together a little shoulder workout that I add to my push days. But do your thing. Thanks for watching though. Let me know what's helped you with your shoulder gains. I saw this one where you go like this. I haven't tried it out yet, but it looked pretty cool. But that's what I do. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.